Yo, this is Fur Club, thanks for tuning in. And today I'm gonna show you how to do SFX for your video game edits. Get D's loader, link in description. Search your song. Download it. Downloads, pick the downloads folder. Boom, high quality song. Open Vegas and import your high quality FLAC file. If you're AE, FLAC files don't import, so you have to convert it to a WAV file. You could do that by just rendering it out in Vegas as a WAV. Next, make your edit. All right, I finished my entire edit, and now I'm gonna show you what I did for the sounds. In Vegas, if you have a very quiet audio, you could right click on it, click properties, and click normalize, and it'll bring it back up to a audible volume. This also works if an audio is too loud, it will bring it back down to a safe volume. In Vegas, to reverse audio, you simply just right click and then click reverse. This is also very good for swooshes and gun sounds when you want to build them up in a shot. In Vegas, there are two different velocity envelopes you could add to your audio. The first one is if you just press V on whatever you want to add it to. It adds this little volume control. If I drag it down right here, the song's going to be off. And if I drag it up all the way over here, it's going to be very, very loud. The second one is if you press P, it inserts a pan. If you drag it down, it's going to pan to the right. If you drag it up, it's going to pan to the left. This is really good for cinematics if the soldier's on one side of the screen or there's a gunshot on a certain side of the screen. Not many people know this, but you could actually keyframe audio effects in Vegas. First, what you do is press Control alt 6 and it'll pull up this. Normally, it'll come out as a window like this for you. It's a, called the mixing console. You can just hold control and drag it wherever you want, or you could just leave it out, however you prefer to use it. I like to put it right here next to the master so I could actually see if I'm clipping or not. All right, next, what you do is you choose an effect. I'll choose track EQ for the sake of this tutorial if I wanted to bass boost a certain part of the song and keyframe it. After you drag in whatever effect you're gonna use, you click this little button right here. This chooses what you want to keyframe. I want to keyframe the game. Click OK. It'll add a little velocity looking thing. And then you can just keyframe it how you like. Let's do that. Let's have it have no bass. All right. And we'll watch the one. It's going to move now. And that's how you keyframe audio effects in Vegas. Next, what you could do on Vegas is time stretch and pitch shift your audio. So right click on properties, method, choose whatever you want. I'm just going to pick this. Make sure lock to stretch is clicked and put it to whatever you want. So say I wanted to slow down the song if I look negative two. If I wanted to speed up the song, I put it to two. And if I just want to put normal, I'll put it back to zero. An easier way to do this is if you hold control and drag it out. To make it so you could do this, go to your options, preferences, editing, and preserve pitch when stretch audio events. Make sure this is unchecked and click apply. Okay. And now instead of having to go to properties and all that, you could just simply hold control and drag it out. Next, what I do is I break my audio into six different parts. I start off with my swooshes. Just show these. You want to add a quick swoosh and long swoosh and bass swooshes throughout your edit. You don't want to use one simple type of swoosh because then your edit could get very repetitive. Also, it's not very uncommon to add more than one swoosh to a shot or sin or transition. Basically, make swooshes sound like they actually fill your edit out and give it impact. Depending on the style, determine whether or not you use a loud swoosh, a quiet swoosh, a long swoosh, a hollow swoosh, a bass swoosh, and so on. Then what I do next is my gun sounds. Only what I do for gun sounds is I just add whatever effect would fit the style. Here's what all the effects do in Vegas. This does not include plugins or VST plugins. All right, for example, for this DSR, I stretched it out and then added graphic EQ, track EQ, and a shit ton of reverbs. This is what it sounds like. Every single effect on Vegas could be utilized in a way for a gunshot or swoosh or anything. There's not really one set in stone type of effect. Next, what I do is I add my extra shit, such as reloads, cinematic sounds, and so on. Like right here, I got the scope zoom. Right here, I got the reloads and shit. You want to try to add sound to everything you could add sound to, such as reload, hit markers, gunshots, blood splats, explosions, debris, wind. Next, what I add is a smoothing shit. I usually just will have a wind 
and a base to make it fill out the rest of the SFX because it blends in the swooshes a lot better if you have like a really long wind to help fade in the swoosh. And then also I have the base just to add a little bit of, you know, base. Then I usually finish it off with the soldier sound effects such as yelling, screaming, the ah uh, sound from CSGO and just call out shit like that. So usually for soldier sound effects, I just add reverb and lower the bass on them. And then I also add a VST plugin called Valhalla Delay. Another cool thing you could do with Vegas is adding VST plugins. You could usually find these anywhere on the internet, whether you want to pay for them or download them illegally. So if I open up my plugins, I'll have this one called Tau Reverb 4 plugin. I just downloaded if I add it, pick one of these presets. See, free reverb plugin. You could find these anywhere on the internet. Whenever you download them, make sure you put them in your VST folder for Vegas. To do this, just go to your PC, open up your Windows, Program Files, Common Files, and then these are where you could install your VST plugins. These are the ones that I have. You could also put your presets here too, which is what I do. Make these actually show up in Vegas. Go to Options, Preferences, VST Effects. Okay, after you open up your VST Effects, click Refresh, and it'll pick all the VST Effects, and then you click Apply, and then OK and then you'll have all of them in Vegas. A way to tell if you're clipping is if you hit play and your master volume goes above zero. Notice how mine's not going over zero, but if I just like say I turn this on back to normal. See, now it's clipping. We don't want that. What I do is I turn the song down to where it's not clipping and then I turn all the sound effects down to where they're not clipping as well. So where it gets to the point where it's like no more than negative four because we're later going to add an equalizer and maximizer to bring the volume back up safely. Select your entire edit, render it, render it as a wave file. You don't really have to fuck with this, just render it. After you render it, drag it in right here, solo it. After you solo it, add a compressor and maximizer. I will put a link in the description for these if you wanna download them. For compressor, you basically just wanna mess with the threshold and you could use these presets to where it sounds like the audio is not getting distorted. Then what I do is I add a maximizer. Maximizer are pretty easy. You just wanna pick a preset. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. Just pick whatever sounds best for your specific edit. You want to click learn threshold. This is so YouTube doesn't adjust your audio and then pick your ceiling. Usually I put it between negative one and negative three. I'll put it negative two and then just X out of it. And now your audio will be brought back up to a safe level without clipping. To make sure YouTube's not adjusting your audio and trying to normalize it itself and make it sound like shit, you can usually right click on your video, click stats for nerds, and if it says 100 out of 100, you did it right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, DM me on Twitter, link in the description. Also, a link to all the plugins that you will need will be in the description as well. Adios.